Welcome to Peak TV. I'm Niamh Dagan, Executive Director of Peak Asset Management, and we've got Johan from Ascari Metals joining us today. Johan, thanks for joining us. Good morning, Niamh. Thank you for having me. Johan, as you know, we're big supporters of Ascari, holding a very large position when we IPO the company. Can you tell us a little bit more about Ascari and what you do? Well, Ascari is a, a young explorer who floated in July this year. Um, we're a gold-focused company, gold and copper, but having said that, we try to add value to our shareholders and therefore are open to other discussions as well. Um, we have four projects in WA and one in New South Wales, New South Wales being a little bit more difficult to explore right at the current moment. Um, three of the WA projects are up in the north in the Pilbara and Kimberley regions and one um, between Perth and Kalgoorlie in the wheat belt. Uh, we're an active explorer, so having started our first drilling campaign very soon after listing and uh, excited by the drill results that we've received so far. So I want to talk about that. Um, you've recently uh, it came out with a number of assays um, at your Barrett uh, Coppin project. Um, tell us more about that and uh, what, what made you really excited about those results. Well, the initial Barrett Coppin uh, project was designed to test and validate historic results, always a first step. Um, and the results came back positive. We, we drilled 17 holes and um, almost all of them came back with, with at least one, one gram plus intersection. Uh, we received intersections that we are happy about um, immediately sort of below and just along strike of the existing gold workings. But more importantly, we also received some pretty good results further removed from those workings um, and this is exciting because you know in the gold game ounces is king and uh, volume gives you ounces and if we can find additional mineralized structures away from what's already been explored for and, and known then that's a huge benefit so uh, part of the future exploration program there uh, would be to involve um, geophysical exploration methods to identify the structures which we believe host the uh, gold mineralization and then to test them with uh, further drilling. So we're very definitely going to drill again. We are confident that just the results we've received up to this point is, is worth following up on with an additional program. But we will be doing some geophysical work to help target a little bit more tighter, shall I say, to be more, more, more definitive in our designs and um, can't wait to get the ring spinning again. And, and before we talk about your other projects, um, how big can Barracobin get in terms of size? Oh, that's an open question. We hope that it'll, we're, we've already got one and a half kilometers worth of strike length, although realistically at this point, it's not all connected. Um, but that's part of the next drill phase is to try and, and extend the strike further uh, away from the existing workings. But that's one and a half kilometers Along the known structure, um, these additional intersections we got to the west of the Ben Burr workings and also the Lone Pine workings, if they are also mineralized and they also have their own strike length, then all of a sudden volume increases exponentially. So, which is why we're so ex uh, excited about the fact that we got those intersections. Um, and it's early days yet. I mean, we didn't get. Um, you know, 100 gram plus intersections, but that's fine. We uh, we know that there's a mineralized structure, and now we'll follow it and and, and, and yeah, watch the space. And and you're, honey, obviously you're not just a one trick pony. You've got a lot of other projects. So tell us a bit more about the Hori project and copper. Obviously, uh, moving to to the eight nine year high. So there's a lot of money coming to the copper market and the whole electrical um, vehicle side and the whole revolution. So tell us more a little bit more about the the, the Hori project and the recent results that we received. Well, Hori is up in the north, not too far from Halls Creek, as you said, uh, copper focused, but it also has gold on it. So the results that we received are from an initial sort of a reconnaissance project that we did there. Um, and both the gold and the copper on the on the project is, is from what we can tell for now, structurally controlled. So um, the, the copper is We've got about a 400 meter strike length there of exposed uh, copper mineralized structure. You can see the malachite on the ground. Uh, so the next job, once again, being structurally controlled is to identify these structures. So we, we are planning a geophysical geomagnetic survey out uh, on the property uh, as soon as we can get a contractor up there. 
and uh, that'll also help us with the gold in the north. It was it was mined in the past and produced um, you know eleven odd gram average uh, gold production and. Um, if, if that's the kind of average grade in the area, then that's positive. So we're going up there uh, hopefully next week and trying to, to do some more work. And part of our philosophy is to physically explore. We're an active explorer, so we'll get on the ground as often as we can. And, and that brings me to my, my other question. I mean, is there any future plans for exploration at any other tenements uh, in your portfolio? Yes, very definitely. Um, I'll start with Springdale simply to say that being in New South Wales and us being a WA-based explorer, it's a bit difficult to get there right at this minute. But it is a, um, a very interesting and exciting project just to the east of the Gilmore Suture, uh, which is gold country in that part of New South Wales. So we are excited to get there. We'll just wait for the situation to allow it a bit better. Um, so we have Kalawa up in the north of WA as well. That's near Marble Bar. Um, that is also a copper focus project. We've done some initial reconnaissance there as well. And um, we're waiting for those results, but I'm excited by the project. It's definitely got visible copper on surface. So, um, yeah, we'll certainly be doing, well, we plan to be doing some uh, geophysical work there again to identify the structures which we've now seen is, are, are mineralized. Um, then Mount Maguire, we haven't, I haven't been to Mount Maguire yet, but we've got a lot of data to go through there. That's probably our most explored in terms of historic exploration, our most explored tenement. Um, so we're just sifting through thousands of data points, quite literally, um, so that we understand what's going on and that we can then target our exploration as best as possible. Um, that's a long strike of Mount Olympus, so, and it's in you know, multi-commodity country, it's surrounded by iron ore. So we're excited about that one as well. And Johan, why should um, investors buy Skyway right now? Uh, sell other, I mean, if there's a lot of money coming into other exploration companies, why are we buying a Skyway right now? Well, we're a, a Skyway Metals. We're a, a well-funded and tightly held exploration outfit. Um, but importantly, we're an active explorer. We're on the ground spending the money there. And by doing that, we hope that the results that we achieve will de-risk the investment um, from our investment community um, by saying that there's copper and gold in a project and then showing that it is, as we say. Um, yeah, and we're, uh, we're very definitely planning to spend all the money in the ground and be an active explorer. Well, Johan, good to see you and uh, keep pushing forward and let's get the market price up and uh, work together and uh, thanks for joining us here at Peak TV. Excellent. Thank you very much, Niv, and have a lovely day.